Hi, in this video, you're going to learn how to create a walking sequence with a character inside Create Studio. So I'm just going to go grab my character and drag a dropper onto the canvas. And what I'm going to do is select a different action. So I'll select the action, go to the drop down menu and go to walk in. Okay, so now I've got this nice walking in kind of animation, but we also want her to move while she's walking. So to do that, I'm first going to just crop this uh, action and make it about two seconds long because it's quite quite a long walking sequence and I want it to appear a bit faster. I'm just going to zoom in a bit closer into the timeline so you can see it a bit better. And now what I'm going to do is on the right hand panel click on motion and go to in and slide right. Okay and if I just drag this up a bit to make it a bit longer I'm also going to right click and disable fade so that um, she appears you know as she's walking and if I just preview this you can see we've got a really nice looking action. Um, so I'm also going to click on add action and then add a new action, let's say wave like that. So once she appears, she's then going to wave um, and say hi to everyone. And one other thing as well that you might notice is that her starting point right now is on the screen and you may not want her to start on the screen. So what you can do is uh, with the animation selected slide right, click on the settings panel and you can just simply drag this over a little bit so you can adjust the starting point of the animation. So if we just preview this again. And that's how nice that looks, okay? Um, what I'm also going to show you how to do is create custom animations. Uh, if you want it to make a walk off, you can do the same thing without. Um, but let's go ahead and click on add action and go to walk out like this. And again, I'll just crop this so it's about two seconds long or so. I'll just zoom in a bit closer, okay? So now she kind of turns and at this point she starts walking, okay? So at this point here, I'm just going to click on the plus button for animations and I'm going to select position, okay? So now we've basically activated the position animations and we can adjust the start and end point of the action, okay? So the start point is right here where she is and I'm going to move the indicator to the end and then I'm just going to simply uh, drag her off. You could either go like this um, or you could, uh, you know, use these ones, maybe let's say 3000 or, or so. But I'll just, I'll just maybe make it a bit simple and just drag her completely off like this um, off the screen, okay? So if we just go back over here, and if I just preview this, okay, so as you can see, the, the uh, action was quite fast and it looked a bit abrupt. So what I want to do is just right click on this animation, go to easing. And what I'm going to do is just go with linear, okay? So let's go with both linear and let's just preview that. Okay, great. So now the easing is basically just making a fluid motion from start to finish. There's no like uh, different type of animation easing. So it just looks like a simple, you know, walking sequence like that. So that's how you can, you know, create walking sequences inside Create Studio. Have a go and try it out for yourself.